Philosophy of Space and Time is the branch of philosophy concerned with the issues surrounding the ontology, epistemology, and character of space and time. Space and time are fundamental categories of philosophy, in this, they cannot be defined, rather they can be understood. Space and time are fundamental categories of philosophy, in this, they cannot be defined, rather they can be understood, reflected, interpreted in philosophical analysis. Space and time are aspects of motion, because in motion only they are revealed, with the evolution of the scientific analysis of various forms of motion, philosophical understanding of space and time has been also evolving. Dot in physics, space-time is any mathematical model that combines space and time into a single interwoven continuum. The space-time of our universe is usually interpreted from a Euclidean space perspective, which regards space as consisting of three dimensions, and time as consisting of one dimension, the fourth dimension, by combining space and time into a single manifold called Minkowski space. Physicists have significantly simplified a large number of physical theories, as well as described in a more uniform way the workings of the universe at both the supergalactic and subatomic levels. In the last century, people began to realize that other forms of geometry were possible, in which the angles of a triangle need not add up to 180 degrees. Consider, for example, the surface of the Earth. In the last century, people began to realize that other forms of geometry were possible, in which the angles of a triangle need not add up to 180 degrees. Consider, for example, the surface of the Earth. Two points, so they are the roots that airlines use. Consider now the triangle on the surface of the Earth, made up of the equator, the line of zero degrees longitude through London, and the line of 90 degrees longitude east, through Bangladesh. The two lines of longitude meet the equator at a right angle, 90 degrees. The two lines of longitude also meet each other at the North Pole, at a right angle, or 90 degrees. Thus one has a triangle with three right angles. The angles of this triangle add up to 270 degrees. This is greater than the 180 degrees, for a triangle on a flat surface. If one drew a triangle on a saddle-shaped surface, one would find that the angles added up to less than 180 degrees. The surface of the Earth, is what is called a two-dimensional space. That is, you can move on the surface of the Earth, in two directions at right angles to each other, you can move north-south, or east-west. But of course, there is a third direction at right angles to these two, and that is up or down. That is to say, the surface of the Earth exists in three-dimensional space, the three-dimensional space is flat, that is to say, it obeys Euclidean geometry. The angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. However, one could imagine a race of two-dimensional creatures who could move about on the surface of the Earth, but who couldn't experience the third direction of up another corollary of special relativity is that, in effect, one person's interval of space is another person's interval of both time and space and one person's interval of time is also another person's interval of both space and time thus, space and time are effectively interchangeable, and fundamentally the same thing, or at least two different sides of the same coin. An effect which becomes much more noticeable at relativistic speeds approaching the speed of light. In 1906, soon after Albert Einstein announced his special theory of relativity, his former college teacher in mathematics, Hermann Minkowski, developed a new scheme for thinking about space and time that emphasized its geometric qualities. In his famous quotation delivered at a public lecture on relativity, he announced that, this new reality was that space and time, as physical constructs, have to be combined into a new mathematical, physical entity called space-time, because the equations of relativity show that both the space and time coordinates of any event must get mixed together by the mathematics. In order it here and there to examine what the geometry of space looks like at a particular instant. Examining consecutive slices in time will let you see.